So today I'll be taking the hybrid battery out of the Prius because uh, I got to clean up the, uh, the battery terminals a little bit. They were pretty corroded and I'm getting that battery hybrid check engine light. I believe the battery cells themselves are good because all the voltages on the blocks look okay. So I'm hoping cleaning up these terminals will, will fix my problem. So first things first, take out everything that, um, you know, just take stuff out that is in the way. So like this. Take out this tray, pop off this, take off your privacy cover. And then we can start getting at some bolts. So everything's out. I'll, I do not think you have to take the spare tire out, but I did so anyways, just for some space. Um, you're gonna need some 10 mil, 10 mil sockets. Take off these, and this this piece will come up. 10 mil here, here, and here, and then, and then here, and here, and here. Get those all taken off just to uh, loosen it up. These panels are not ready to come out yet, but uh, it's just good to have them nice and ready to go. All right, once the the cover is off, and you got your your bolts out here. You're gonna want to remove the seats. 14, 14, 14, 14. And they should just come right out. All right, once the seats are out, careful wiggling of these panels and they should pop out. But be careful with, oh, also pop this off too. But be careful when you're pulling here, because you have these things, I think one here and one about right here, and they're only glued on to this this um, this fabric. So if you pull like down here or something, you can just tear it right off. So when you lift, be careful and lift from here. So I got this side out, this side, same deal. I broke this one from last time, it wasn't from this time. Um, and when you get to this light, push in on these tabs and it'll pop like that, you'll rotate it and just pull it on through. So, just be careful, no rush, and it comes right out. So, here we are, all nice and open, and you should probably disconnect your auxiliary 12 volt battery just so nothing gets shorted out. Um, and then from here, you want to take your your vent, your fan vent for the battery off. Once the fan belt vent is off, just take off all these 14s. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side. Okay, so both sides off. And those bolts were uh, 12, by the way. Uh, this is a good time to flip your safety switch, your cutoff, so you pull up and then go to the side. And my metal cover is actually kind of in the way right now. There we go. Yeah, this uh, this metal shield is uh, pretty thin, so if it gets bent, it uh, it really gets bent. But anyways, pull pull that out, and then we can proceed. Okay, so plug is out, <clears throat> and now you want to take your 10 mil socket and undo these bolts. And there and there, and then we can disconnect some wires from the battery. Okay, so the cover's off. I'm gonna unplug this wire, this wire, and this wire, and then undo this little clip that keeps it plugged in, or uh, like attached to the battery. Then we're gonna undo this one, and that one. And we are pretty close to getting this battery out. Okay, so those were eight mils, they're disconnected. These plugs all just unplug by hand. And now we can take the 14 millimeter bolts out and then the hybrid battery should come out of the vehicle. All right, all of them are out and uh, excuse me, but they were 12 millimeter actually. So it's ready to come out. So just go ahead and lift it out. It's pretty heavy, so be careful and set it down in a nice area for you to work on. And just like that, the hybrid battery is out. 
Now to get inside, if you are going to be doing some repairs, which I will be, it's just a couple of these, a couple of these bolts on the outer cover, and then the whole shell comes out. Just be, be careful not to bend it too much because it is pretty thin. And on putting that safety switch back in, when you put it in, what you'll want to do is, there we go, backwards. Um, so you push it in and then you push it down and it clicks. I didn't, uh, I didn't do that the first time I had this battery out and I was wondering what, why wouldn't it, uh, why wouldn't it work? So yeah, simple as that. In, forward, down. All right, so thank you for watching. Um, installation is pretty much just reversal of um, removal. Good luck with your kit, um, depending on what you're doing, if you're replacing it or if you're going to be in the battery pack replacing cells. Uh, I wish you luck. This is going to be my second time in here, so yeah, maybe you want to spend the money for some quality battery packs. But anyways, this is pretty easy. It took me about 30 minutes or so, even with filming. So it's uh, it's not very difficult. I did have an impact and uh, an impact gun to help zip the bolts up, so that probably helped it go a little bit quicker. But this is very doable with hand tools. Just a 14 millimeter, an 8 millimeter, a 10 millimeter, and a 12 millimeter, <clears throat> and you should be all set. Anyways, thanks for watching.